Okay, this next writing journal question is from the reading specialist exam, the 62 again, and it has two parts. This is just the prompt, and then we're going to get to the question. But since it is the prompt, I want you to take um, take a minute here, maybe more, a minute, maybe, maybe two minutes, and I just want you to read over the prompt, okay? And then we'll take a minute and look at the question and then talk about it, okay? But one minute, pause me and read the prompt. Go ahead. Okay, we have this scenario. So obviously these qu these questions on this test, some of them are wordier, a lot of them are wordier. Some of them are a little too wordy, to be honest with you. But uh, we can all learn from this. So um, let's just start with this opening piece. An elementary school reading specialist advises kindergarten teachers to include regular writing opportunities as an integral component of the literacy curriculum. Okay, so I just wanna make sure I understand what this is saying. Sorry, not writing specialist, reading specialist. The reading specialist is suggesting to the teachers to include writing activities. Is that what they're saying? Regular writing activities. They're like, uh, you should do some writing. <laughs> For example, the specialist suggests devoting a short period, two or three times a week to journal writing. Okay, so what do they do for writing? They say, hey, do some journal writing two to three times a week. So reading specialist says, I got an idea. Let's do journal writing two or three times a week, right? As a time for children to engage in independent writing and drawing in a personal journal. Okay, so let's just circle the words here that are important. Do you see the writing, writing, uh, personal journal, writing? This is clearly uh, a prompt for writing, yes? And, and the grade... Um, the grade is kindergarten. So we're doing basically a kindergarten writing activity. So kindergarten, let's put down here, kindergarten, let's say around five to six, and we are doing a print uh, writing activity. Is that fair? Right, and, and what are we using? Well, we said before, this age range here, they use uh, journals of some sort. Journals usually that involve, you know, drawing and writing because students using a journal like this could be at all those different levels of writing. In a journal like this, let me just go back to that picture one more time. This journal could support the students at preliterate stage where they're just drawing a picture, emergent stage where they start to, you know, <clears throat> draw pictures and they and they and scribbles, uh, transitional stage where we see, you know, maybe a picture and inventive spelling and shorts and mini basic stories or basic writing or the fluent stage where we see more expanded phrases, sentences and longer uh, sentences and, and maybe even paragraphs or short stories. So uh, a writing journal could support a lot of different students at a lot of different ranges there. OK, back to the question. Let me find it. <clears throat> OK. Second piece, it says here um, uh, for this was question number uh, three on this test. The reading specialist supports the teachers in using evidence from the children's journals to draw conclusions about their literacy development. OK, so the teacher looks at the journal to uh, see how they grow. One child includes both drawing and written captions in most entries, a, repre a, a reparative sample of the child's work is shown below. Okay, so now we're gonna look at this student's work. So basically, child's been doing some crazy, they've been doing some drawings and writing, and the teacher's gonna use that to evaluate the student. So here is the drawing, voila! Now you have one minute to read this one over. Now that we've done the prompt, now you can read the question, go ahead. pause and if you're still reading pause me now <laughs> unpause me when you're ready okay one minute um you know it's funny for me team because i know i would forget to press pause right i would forget to press pause and then this guy would come on the computer after only being gone for like 10 seconds or five seconds and he'd start talking again and then i'd be like pause you right? 
<clears throat> but that's just me. So I'm getting a chuckle uh, at what I know is going to happen. All right. One minute. You read it? Good. Uh, this is the picture that they provided for the student. Now, before we even read the student, right? What stage are they at? They're drawing and they're writing. So, so, and they're using letters. You see the letters? So in terms of, you know, there's the pre-literate, there's the emergent, there's the transitional, there's the uh, fluent. They're not at pre-literate and, and they're not at fluent yet, right? So it's their emergent transitional. Now, which one is it? Well, uh, they're definitely representing, uh, they're definitely have an awareness of print, right? But what are they doing? It says here, I mean, at first glance, it's, it, it looks like it's just some alphabet soup. But what is this? My uncle is tall. What are they doing? They're getting the initial sound here, the initial and a middle sound here. They're getting a sound in the word is, and in tall, they, they got the initial and end sound, right? So they're doing some inventive spelling. Do you see that? They're using, they're using the alphabetical principle and they're, they're doing some inventive spelling. So that's gotta be something that you see in the picture. Okay, now it goes on and says, the child explains the entry to the teacher by saying, my uncle's tall. Which of the following conclusions about the child's development and basic concepts of print is most clearly supported by the performance data? Okay, so based on this picture, what can we say about their writing? Um, is it uh, D, the child is not yet aware of the function of letters in print? So they're not, they don't know, this is just gibberish. No, no, they do. They they are aware. They're aware that that letters and writing carry meaning that's distinct from the picture. So that's out, right? How about this one right here? Uh, the child demonstrates knowledge of key sentence features in print. So are they doing things like capital letters and lowercase letters and periods and and things of that nature? Not yet. That's more at the fluent stage, right? So let me draw a picture here. Or drawing, uh, or let me draw something here. So an awareness that function of letters in print, awareness of the function of letters in print, <clears throat> that's the emergent stage, right? Um, under an awareness uh, when they start to use uh, emergent writing, scribbles, symbolic letters there to indicate an idea, that's emergent. Uh, um, attend to features in a sentence like punctuation, things like that, uh, that would be more fluent stage, yes? Okay, the child is not yet aware of the relationship between oral language and print. Nah, I think they are. I think they are by, by, by <clears throat> writing it and saying it, right? So no, that's, they do have that awareness. Okay, so these are all out. So what are we left with? We're left with A, the child demonstrates an awareness of letter sound correspondence in print. And, and we said for the early grade, early, early letter sound correspondence is called the alphabetical principle. Yes? Okay. So <clears throat> to review this question, if you ever had this question on a test, doesn't matter if you're a reading specialist or not, I would hope that you would see Kindergarten, writing, 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 that this is a kindergarten writing question. Yes? And then I would hope that you would see that um, they're going to look at a student's uh, writing and they're going to make, their, so this is a kindergarten writing question. Fine. Now we go to the question. <clears throat> uh, we go to this question here, sorry. Uh, uh, based on this entry, uh, what can you say about this student, this kindergarten writing? I'm hoping that when you look at this entry here, you can see that inventive spelling going on. Yes. And so you know that that's inventive spelling and you know that the student is doing some using the alphabetical principle to help with, with that inventive spelling. And so that should be early alphabetical principle is a letter sound correspondence there. Yeah. Huh? Team, this doesn't have to be that hard. I know, I know they try and make it very hard, but it, it's not that bad. The answer is A, 
And if we go to our answer choices, this is A from this test here. This is a push test for reading specialists, but I think everyone could probably get something out of some of these questions. Not all of them. Some of them are a little, little hard. A lot. Some of them are hard. But, but I think, you know, a question like this, we all can do.